This is Sarah. She's HR director for an oil and gas firm, and she's struggling to recruit a strategic advisor to help the board make decisions that benefit the business. So when she meets Tim at a dinner party, she asks for his help. I'm looking for someone who can translate complex information into easy to understand advice, she says. Someone who considers all the possible outcomes of each course of action. And someone who sees the bigger picture, not just the immediate problem, all while being professional and acting with honesty and integrity. I don't suppose you know anyone like that. Funny you should ask, says Tim. I'm an actuary. That means I help companies to manage risk. I do the maths so they don't have to. And I explain things in the way people understand. At the moment, I work for a pensions provider. I use my analytical, business and people skills to make sure the company has enough money to pay out. In that sense, I help society to keep its promises to its people by protecting their money for life. But my skills could help all sorts of organisations to make better decisions. That's why you'll find actuaries helping the government decide how much to spend on hospitals and advising supermarkets on which food groups to stock. And it's why I'd be great for your job. Unfortunately, Sarah stops listening when she hears the word actuary because she thinks actuaries only work in pensions and insurance. And while they're great at maths, she thinks they're not very good at leadership, communication or strategic thinking. But Tim doesn't give up easily. So when Sarah's getting ready to leave, he tries a different approach. Can you spare 30 seconds? He asks. I'd like you to join me on a journey to explain why I'd be perfect for your job. I know that getting the right answers means asking the right questions. So I'll use my judgment to see the bigger picture and define the real problem. Then I'll use a broad range of skills to translate complex financial information into clear advice. I'll always do the right thing, even when it means telling your board something they don't want to hear. And I'll always look ahead and consider all possible outcomes. But this is wonderful, cries Sarah. You're exactly what I need. Why didn't I realize it before? That's easy, says Tim. You just didn't know you were looking for an actuary. <laughs>